Hey you guys. Okay, so today, this is always one of my favorite videos of the year, the Sephora VIB sale, sales event, all of these things. I've been doing a video pretty much twice a year on this event. I think it started with this November one though because this one is just my favorite. It's always my favorite because, well, October, November, it's the time to restock, to get like, you know, some Christmas gifts and things like that. And, um, you know, it's always called something different. It's been called many different things over the years. Uh, but I, I think it's truly a great way to get a lot of these products that don't go on sale at a discount. So all of the Sephora branded things, which some of my very favorite brushes are Sephora brand brushes, which I'll show um, are 30% off. Okay, so <laughs> I had to like check this. Let me, let me make sure. This is all right. Okay, so like I said, um, all of the Sephora branded things, 30% off from 1028 through 117. Uh, the rouge, which, you know, it's so funny. I always think I'm not going to make rouge every year. And I end up, I end up doing, and, and I don't even buy that much beauty products as I used to, as much as I used to, but we'll get to that. Uh, you know, we just stick with the good things. 20% off from 1028 through 11.7. If you're a VIB member, 15% off from 11.1 through 11.7. And then just regular beauty insiders. If you've never had an account before, you want to save some money, whatever, I'll put a link below. 10% um, off from 11.3 to 11.7. But any tier level, uh, all the Sephora collection things, including these brushes, are 30% off, which there's a brush that's in my cart that I think I'm, it's like, ten dollars off or something i mean it's 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 crazy and they're some of the best brushes i've ever used and everyone uses the same code which i will put below okay so that's the details i know i always even if i spell it out i, I get questions um but but that's that okay it's all below now i have some really great recs from a new foundation that i've been using lately that you guys know i do not just get some i've been doing this for so long you guys know how i am with things I'm very skeptical myself. Um, I know how this all works. I know how in a lot of cases, you know, I don't want to just be showing you something that I've gotten or, oh, this is great. I used it one day. Well, in a week, your skin may look like garbage. In two weeks, your skin may look like garbage. Usually, I think a rule of thumb is like if something's going to break you out, not like an allergic reaction or just something that could pop up instantly, but like something's pore clogging, that takes at least a week to develop. Okay, so whatever. I just, the whole thing, I just like to really be thorough <laughs> about things that I talk about. So I've been trying this. Um, I've got a candle. I've got some of the best of the best things, okay? And um, we'll get into to so much in this video. I think it's going to be so fun. Just Rex and everything. And follow me on Instagram, you know, we're vacation or whatever. I didn't want to post a video really over the week. I mean, I did two the week prior to that. Um, I just really wanted to, to like relax and stuff. I knew this was coming up, so um, we did. Of course, we, we never skipped the podcast. We recorded from the beach, um, and we, we never skip a Wednesday, and we really give a lot more details as to like what's going on in our personal lives and things that are a little maybe too scandalous or like not, you know, it's a private place, okay? So that's why, not scandalous, what am I talking about? But, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, things that I would never talk about anywhere else. Um, so that is that I always link that in my, um, in my videos. And again, I just figured when we started that, like we wanted to do it anyways. And I was like, this is just, and I know I talk about it so much, but it has become like, it's such a fun thing. If you're enjoying this, I, and, and of course you guys have always enjoyed seeing Brad over there. You will, I mean, you get a lot of us over there. Okay. A lot of personal stuff. And, um, I really just thought, you know, we're going to just have like a small group of like, it's turned into like a pretty big group. I didn't want to be under anybody. I didn't want to be, you know, catering to advertisers. I didn't want you guys to have to listen to ads. I thought if one person joins, if 10 people join, who cares? Like we're sharing something fun and it has blown up into something pretty huge. And I love that if you want to be there, you can be there. Um, we've done it for over a year now and it's wonderful and people really enjoy it. And it just gets bigger and bigger each month. And um, it's surprised us, I think. And I want to do it that way because it is a special place. It's not replacing anything here. It's truly something if you would like to support or not even, but just to, to join because it's fun. Um, that's kind of what's going on over there. But okay. Let me tell you about what I'm wearing today. So I, I love this. I mean, you don't have to splurge on a 
I've, I've, I'm happy that I did because I'll have it forever and I just love it. It's just one of those things that I can wear all the time. Um, I have been really into like just little, these little crop tops. This is actually one that like is made like a bra. It's very thick. I just ordered it in um, black as well. They have them in a bunch of different colors and I believe they're $9 right now. It's one of the best tops I've ever had and I really, really love it. Um, I'm like a 36D. I got a large. I am, you know, I have kind of a broader, like, rip I just always get a large and things like this if it's like a top or something. Um, but I could have, I think, worn a medium, but I don't like it to be so skin tight right here. So, um, definitely check those out. I really, really like those. Usually I'll post this, like, the day before, before anything drops with the sale, but it's like, I haven't seen anything sell out. Um, I think we're still right now that I'm going to post this in the Rouge window. So that's cool. Um, but, but even so, you can shop the whole time. I think there's been years when like I've placed several orders. I'm going to share with you guys some other things that I am going to order. But just, just so many great, amazing things, you guys. All right, so first of all, let's talk about this. I mentioned this a little bit. I've been trying something new. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40 with niacinamide, squalene hyaluronic acid, and it is, like I said, SPF 40. Now, I really got concerned about ingredients in SPFs. I kind of knocked off some products that I've been using some year for years out of my routine, and then, you know, kind of brought them back recently. Didn't really, I, I don't know, it just didn't feel right about you. I, just do your own research about that kind of stuff. But I do really like that the SPF in this has, is a is a good one. It's like this is like a clean brand. Um, it's not you know a dangerous SPF and all. Of, okay, whatever. But I I love the way this makes my skin feel. So you see this on Instagram on everything. You guys know I've I've griped about this for years since the days of the unicorn drops years ago. And I get it. Okay, we're talking on a platform based on. Instagram, pretty pictures, aesthetics. When you apply this, please don't take it and drip it all over your face like this. And then you're going to end up using way too much. I've tried to apply it like that. I'm like, is there something to that? Sure, you can do that. But it's like, I'm not going to like do a cartwheel to get down the stairs no more. I'll just walk down the stairs. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's too much. Okay, it's too much. Like, just if you want to use your fingers, put a few drops on your fingers, da 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 da. It's too much, and I find that when I do that, I can control how much I'm using more. Dup, 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 put it on. Um, if, you're, if you get drips all over your, I mean, whatever. It looks cool on Instagram, I guess. Um, but I will tell you, I'm very skeptical. Very skeptical about foundations, and this is amazing. I really thought, is this going to provide good coverage? It does. It is so comfortable. The... Uh, just the consistency of it is perfection. Today I used it, well, a couple days ago I used it with a brush. I used it, like I said, with my fingertips. I used a beauty blender with it this morning. I put a few drops on my beauty, why can't I, I put, I put a few drops on my beauty blender and then just, this, just the skin-like effect. And that always kills me. I'm like, shouldn't everything, if you're gonna make your skin, if you're gonna put something on to perfect your skin, it should be skin-like, okay? A matted out powdery skin, that's not what skin normally looks like or naturally looks like. I'm so happy that years and years ago I kind of stopped with all of the layering, all of the powdery. And as I'm getting older, I find it's just, that's necessary for me. Um, well, not, but it, it looks better. It's, I believe, more anti-aging. It doesn't, you know, really bring out the appearance of, like, dryness, crepiness, all of that. I mean, it takes care of your skin in that. Like, you know, if you get a good product, product will actually do things to take care of your skin. But just the appearance, it looks better. And I found as someone with, used to struggle with very oily skin. And really, when did I struggle with that? The times when I was using things to fight it. Really using harsh, you know, quote, harsh cleansers to, like, clear my skin or things that were a little drying or maybe say, oh, I'll use a lighter moisturizer. And what I really started doing as a breakout prone, you know, very oily skinned person, um, which now I would say I'm definitely more combination, is it because I'm using better products that more, that balance my skin, I'm, I'm giving it the moisture it needs so it's not overcompensating with the oil. Um, if I ever sort of like slack on my skincare or my skin gets a little dry, um, it goes nuts. It'll break out. It'll produce too much oil. So 
I think that's really nice and um, I'm just not fighting oil all the time because it's just comfortable. And I really do, okay, I know I'm talking a lot about this, but this is kind of like a little review in one. So um, what can you say about it? Great coverage, makes your skin feel great. It's great if you're concerned with, well, as I say, anti-aging, but just the appearance of your skin, doesn't matter how old you are. Um, I love this stuff. This is gonna be like a new fave for me, but this is what I was gonna say. Something that I am concerned with as far as like, you know, with my skin being more oily, breakout prone, even as I'm like approaching 38, okay, I'm approaching 40. I'm getting older, I still deal with hormonal breakouts. My pores will clog. It's a mess, okay? Um, because of the oil, because of all that. And um, that's just the nature of my skin. What I started doing is using things that really nourish my skin, you know, anti-aging products, but what I've really been careful about is I run everything through that little search feature, <laughs> which I'll link to, that's for like pore clogging ingredients. And some things might pop up and you'll look at it and then you can kind of distinct, but, um, but this passed my test, so that's great. Okay, love that. I've been using this cleanser. It's the Tatcha Rice Wash. Again, something else. I'm so happy this is kind of what I picked up next because this goes with what I was saying about taking care of your skin as far as not stripping it. You might want to say, oh, if I'm breakout prone, if I'm oily, I'm going to use something that's a little more clarifying. Sure, you can use products that are clarifying, but that still are creamy, that still make your skin feel comfortable. I always use the Lancer Scrub combination or the what is the oily skin one as an, ex an example so wish that Sephora sold that they do not sell the Lancer products anymore but that is a scrub for oily combination skin I so 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 believe in like a physical exfoliant if it's a good one which that one is but even though it's a more clarifying product it leaves your skin feeling so comfortable I do not like a tight feeling I do not like a squeaky clean feeling this is so great. So that's what I look for in a cleanser. Um, Brad's been using this too. So we've been going through this pretty quickly. It is the Tatcha Rice Wash. And it's just a basic, good, creamy, whoa, um, cleanser. And I really love it. Okay, let's talk about these brushes quickly before we get into some makeup products. I did pick up a few new things. Um, so four brushes, you guys want to do this right now, 30% off. They are amazing quality. Again, like this is one of my favorite brushes of all time. And I, it's a great foundation brush that I used to just check out their brushes. They're great. Um, this is the best highlighter brush ever. And you think, what? Yeah, just trust me. If you use a powder highlighter, even a cream, like in a, I mean, this is great, but it is, um, the number 98 brush and I will link to that. This is the best highlight brush of all time. And then a few eye brushes. Um, I really love this one. This is the Pro Shadow Brush, and I do think it's very unique. So it kind of blends, but then it has that like sort of like flat, you know, whatever. I, I love that. I use it every day. And this is a great one too. It's great for your crease, great for like this little area. Because I do like a bigger blending brush, which I could use just these two for everything, right? This is a good blender as well. But I do like something more precise, you know, for those darker colors. And if you're curious about what I'm wearing on my eyes, it's this. I always recommend this eyeshadow palette. Again, I do not have many eyeshadow shadow palettes. I have one that I really love by Ilya that I that they also sell there, so I'd, I'd recommend that. And this is usually the old, other one that I use if I'm going to reach for, like, a powder eyeshadow palette that I'm going to blend. I, of course, love those little cream ones that you dip into the Rowan ones, which they don't sell at Sephora. Um, but this is one that if I was going to get rid of a lot of my... I mean, I would, I would just keep this one. This one is amazing. So I will link to that. I love this eyeshadow palette so much. And, um, okay. One thing before we get into some more makeup, um, my friend recommended this candle. It's a frosted holly berry. And I thought, oh, Christmas. Okay, no, no, no. This is beautiful, first of all, all the time. These candles are so nice. But this one, you guys, if you are a Diptyque Bay fan... This is Diptyque Bay. Thank you to my best friend, Ashley, who recommended this to me. She was like, Tiffany, you have to like get this candle. It's just like Bay. And I thought, okay, sure. But I've never heard anyone say that about this. I thought Diptyque Bay is like their most popular, one of their most popular scents. Everyone goes nuts over that candle for that tiny candle. It's like 60 whatever dollars. Just, it's a lot. Um, and they're wonderful. That scent, I used to say, is like the scent of my house. And I always have some. And I just, I really love it. Now, you guys... I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to have these like all over. I, I just really do love it. And I think the packaging is just so beautiful. Frosted holly berry. And I'm thinking this might be like a holiday thing. So stock up. But now when you can get a discount, um, what a great time to buy 
the ginormo one, okay? So this is what you want. And, um, yeah, years ago I said bay. It's B-A-I-E-S, you know, bay, the diptych bay candle. It kind of, like, translates roughly to, like, berries. And I remember people were like, no, what are you talking about? It does, okay? Just Google it. Frosted holly berry. Okay, just... If you've been curious about my lip combo lately, I've been getting some questions. Um, I saw a few on Instagram. People were like, what are you wearing on your lips? It's this. And I, I want to see, like, something more, you know. Oh, it's this color and this color. Oh, which one? Yeah, natural mouth. Get this lip pencil. It's a 24. Is it 24 hour? I don't know. What does it say? There's something about long wearing. Long wearing waterproof. That's what it is. 24 hour. That'd be a lot. That'd be intense. So it is a nice creamy lip pencil that stays put. It has a brush on the end. It is um, the natural mauve. And I use this every day just on my lip line. Take the brush, kind of blend it in. You can even fill in with it. Trips for anything. It's like, don't bring a million. This is honestly just this and a lip balm. It's perfect. And like on the daily, I just don't have to think much about what I do. And I, I really do like that. The natural mauve, I would say, is my favorite. The bronzel is very similar. This one is the bronzel. But you can see it's just slightly darker. If I were going to pick between the two, I'd say natural mauve. Um, and then I put a little bit of this over it, just right in the center. Any kind of clear lip gloss. But this is a good one if you're going to be getting things at Sephora. It's the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. But I like to use it in the morning too because it is it does have that like kind of cooling plumping effect. And I do think it's kind of cool that like an overnight mask or like, you know, a, a lip balm for nighttime has that kind of plumping effect because usually they don't because you don't want to put something irritating on your lips, but it's not. It's very moisturizing and just like very nourishing at the same time. So that's a very cool product. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so, oh gosh, I've got so many. Oh my gosh, see you, see you guys. I did get a new blush. Uh, the, <laughs> again, like, I really do practice what I, I don't say preach, but like what I talk about here. As far as like, you know, years ago, with, and we mentioned this in a video recently, about getting rid of like so many of these just, you know, we do acquire a lot of makeup. We did acquire a lot of makeup years ago. I'm sure we still are doing what we're doing here. And finally, I'm like, you know what? The truth is, which most people don't want to hear, is that makeup expires. And you spend all this money on this beautiful, you know, maybe these beautiful displays for your makeup, or this beautiful storage, whatever. And all the money on the makeup itself, that's the kicker, right? And years ago, I just had to let that go. I'm like, I've had these, you know, years when I was like, I've had these MAC palettes some for eight years, nine it's not good, okay? Lip products especially, anything cream, things you put on your face. I don't want a million different choices of blushes. Why? Like, maybe just a few different good ones. And at this point, I've really narrowed it down. And I don't have a big collection of crap. Not that if you do, it's crap, but I've truly narrowed down what I like. And um, I just have a handful of blushes, maybe just a couple. And this is the one I have been using so much. It is the Melt in the golden hour. Okay, you guys, you have to pick this up, okay? Even if your skin tone is much more like olive or darker, this is going to be beautiful. It's corally, right about to hit the pan on it, I think. Um, it has a hint, this one is a hint of a sheen, okay? Um, like when you look at it, it might have a bit of a shimmer. Now don't be afraid of that, it's beautiful. This is what I wear most of the time when you see me, um, but Oh, I just love that so much. And this is in the color Golden Hour. Now, I love more than, I mean, obviously it's a great shade. But what really made me fall in love with these is the formula. It's a great cream, blendable, beautiful, but it's not heavy. It's not sticky. It has, I've, I've used this for a very long time. Never breaks me out. And um, I really like the way they smell, which I know made me look like, just this light, like, kind of frosting-y smell. And I had been kind of like, you know, just itching to try a few more colors, right? Like just a little tempted. And, you know, I, again, I don't want to have, like, it's the same, same with me as like, I don't want to have five different lip glosses open. Gross, okay? It takes long enough to get through one or two. Lip gloss is disgusting. It's your, I mean, not that you're disgusting, but like, yeah, you're dipping, you're putting, bleh, 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 gross. Just have a few open, okay? Cream blushes, it's kind of the same, like, and, and face products. Like, I just don't want a million things. Um, and again, I kind of liken that to the lip gloss or the mascara. Don't want a million mascaras open either for the same reason. Like, I just want to have one, maybe two really good ones. 
okay, whatever, back to this. <laughs> it's kind of why I haven't bought a lot of these because I just didn't want a million going at once. And I'm like, I can't resist. I really want to try one that's a little more pink. And that's what I'm wearing today. And this one is called Pink Sand. They have them in all different shades, just beautiful colors, but they're just so beautiful and glowy. What I typically do, I mean, you can use your fingertips, whatever, but I do like an angled brush. This is a Chanel one. Obviously, they don't sell this at Sephora, but I will, I mean, this is a basic, basic brush. You know, kind of miss the old Chanel brushes, but this it's fine. It's good quality, but you can get one. Honestly, get an angled one from the Sephora collection. Stock up on the brushes. I don't even know what else to tell you. Um, but I just usually do just a little bit like that. I don't put on too much today, so I'm just doing this to kind of show you the motion that I do. But that's what I use, and um, just nothing better than those melt blushes. And speaking of, while I have this out, this is what I use with this product as well. If you did not grab this, if you're a fan of the Chanel, the Bronze Universal, kind of like a cult favorite product, and then they did change the ingredients, I kind of started messing with my mind because I did get a few little breakouts. I thought, maybe... So I changed to this a long time ago. It's the same kind of like dry but creamy vibe. It will stay on. It'll stay where you put it. I like to use a big fluffy brush. You can put some on your chest. It's just the best product ever. Just quickly after getting this because I started with the wrong tone. This is my right tone now, or my right shade, which is one fair pale, okay? Usually with bronzers, I cannot do that because the fairest shade in bronzers, if they come in shades, are usually very like yellow or orangey toned. And so I just started with the medium, loved it, but it was a little dark for me and did kind of pull a little more like orangey toned, which I do think as they get a little more medium, they should do that. And then darker, the tones should change a little bit every, you know, no matter what your skin tone or shade is, the tone can be very different. So it's just tricky with bronzers, whatever, they're all different. But, um... Yeah, I used it for a while and I was like, I love the formula. I just, something about the color was just, I was fighting it a little. So I ended up getting the fair and it is perfection. The fair is just such a perfect bronze shade. Um, but that's what this looks like. And I use this brush for it. This is the exact brush that I use. I just kind of do that. Oh my gosh, why am I putting on so much? Why am I feeling like I'm having to demo everything? We know how to do this, okay. And well, I didn't do my... Do I need to tell you I didn't do my hair today? It's pretty obvious, right? Um, I don't know. I just, I can't. When I do these videos, you guys, you know, you know we just keep it real. But whatever. But, you know, I just, I put my, I pulled my hair up for my, pulled my hair up to do my makeup today. I just left it. I thought, well, it's kind of cool, sleek. So, what else? A few more things. If you didn't buy these, speaking of bronzer, this is one of my favorite products of all time. It's the Iconic uh, Drops in the color Glow. And I've used about half of mine. I really, really love this product. I use a beauty blender. Take my beauty blender, take a little bit of this, and, you know, I just kind of dab it on there, and I put it in exact areas where I would contour here. Um, if I use that, I usually wouldn't use my other bronzer, but you know what's so funny? I just, I can't decide which I like better. Some days I'm in the mood to use this, some days I'm in the mood to use that. It just gives you sort of like a beautiful filtered, like just bronzed cool effect don't put it all over you could mix it a little bit and to your foundation however you want to apply it but I do like to apply it just in the way that I would apply like you know contour bronzer that kind of thing a little on my brow bone always no matter what kind of bronzer I'm using always that's the first thing I do um, but this is great and it might be a product that you overlook because it's called an illuminator. You might think, well, this is a highlighter. Well, it comes in like a champagne-y color. It comes in like a rosier tone. But the one that you want, I think, is the Glow. Um, it's just a beautiful bronzer. Okay, and it doesn't look too shiny or anything. It's just perfect. Um, speaking of the foundation, my all-time other <laughs> favorite foundation is, well, my all-time favorite is the Armani Luminous Silk. And they do sell it in the smaller bottles. So this is cool. Um, I thought, you know, for travel, for whatever... But also, like, if you just don't want to splurge on the big one and you're trying to figure out shades or you're like me and you have, like, you're sick, you have that, like, thing where with foundations you have to own a few colors, this might be the way to go. But if you know you love this foundation and you know your perfect shade, just buy the big one, I think, for the price. But if you did, you know, if you just wanted to kind of try, um, these are really great sizes. So definitely check that out. Again, I do have two colors of this fully. So did I mention I'm shade Diaz? in the Ilia, but then also 
Um, I did get the bomb bomb. I'm a little more tan right now than usual, but my face usually stays kind of the same. It might be a little lighter, um, you know, throughout the rest of the year, whatever. But I do have the bomb bomb as well, which is a tad lighter than the Diaz that I think is going to be a really good one. I can just like mix the drops. See, I have a sickness. I'll just like, I just want to get it just right. Okay. I feel like I have to have like a million tones of everything. Speaking of not being powdered, like I, I've talked about this before too. But just use one of those duo fiber brushes with powder if you do have to use it. Um, really the only time I use a powder is if I have like a really like life ruining zit as I have recently. Um, <laughs> you, you, you know, cover it up, whatever. Put a little bit of powder over it um, if you need to set it or something crazy is going on. Um, but just setting your makeup every day, I think, is such a waste because you're killing whatever. Do not pay attention at all to the actual foundation um, finish or how it looks if you're just going to powder it. Don't, oh, I'm going to buy this one. This is glow. I'm going to buy this one that gives me this finish. But then you're going to powder over it. You've wrecked it. I mean, not wrecked it if that's what you like. But don't be particular about the foundation if you're just going to use powder over it because you've killed the finish. Like, you can't get it back. Um... That, am I sounding very dramatic about that? I don't know. I just, I listen, you guys, you don't have opinions, okay? I feel strongly about my, my makeup opinions. Um, but what I love about this is, again, use like a dual fiber brush. When I'm filming, sometimes, like, I'll just take a little bit of it. I'll put it here. And maybe a little on my chin. I didn't today. But if you do like a powder, if you love a setting powder, if that's your thing, or if you're just like me and you just want something a little bit that's not going to change the finish too much, this is what you want. It's the Kosas cloud set and the shade that I use is feathery and again when you first use it or when you first get it take like a little tissue and knock off the shell on top because it's like one of those powdery products that's baked and when I first started using it, I was like really oh, wow this is really light nothing's coming off this is very sheer and then I realized um nothing's coming off because there's I can go around the edge where that hasn't come off nothing comes off of it it's just like that shell on top don't dig into it but just take a little like you know wad up a little tissue or toilet tissue whatever and just kind of dust off the top of it and then ugh, perfect it's just it's the perfect powder okay never thought i'd like a powder so much and then just a few more things you guys with sephora with my whole collection i'm going through there and i'm like oh this is from sephora That's, because truly the only things that i have that i use are things that i love you know but i try not to go like crazy with these wrecks and give you like too many but we've talked about foundation we've talked about this is Let's see, this is the only concealer you need. This is the best concealer ever, you guys. No matter if, I was going to say, just for, not anti-aging, but just, you know, as you get older, as I get older, like, what shows the most for me is, like, you know, little fine lines around your eyes as your makeup, you know, settles throughout the day or starts looking. That's usually the area that's like, ugh, you know, that I kind of, and certain things settle more than others. Certain things cover more than others. So, you know, if you're using a product that you think is great, but then you're having to use more, you know, to get the coverage that you need, you've layered so much that it is going to crease or it is going to look crepey or it's not going to look great. You want to use the least bit. This is very pigmented. It's beautiful. The finish is amazing. It doesn't crease. It's the Luminous Silk Concealer. So it's the one that goes with the foundation. And um, I use shade 5.25. And the Luminous Silk Foundation, I'm... But my perfect shade is 4.5. That's just my fave. I think with dry shampoos, okay, first of all, I want, I want to talk a little bit about, I want to talk about some hair things. This is such a great dry shampoo. I've talked about it for years when I was very blonde. I used the one for blonde tones. This is the one for dark tones. It's the Moroccan oil dry shampoo. I used to really, when I was like using and abusing dry shampoo, as I think we all had a moment with, which is so dangerous, like, too dangerous, but, um, you know, hairstyles really broke it down one time. You know, people are using it to really prolong. You know, oh, I'm going to use it in place of washing, or I'm going to really... <sighs> okay. And it clogs your hair follicles. It can, you know, really cause, like, some hair loss, some thinning. So you really need to be careful with that. Um, I do use it occasionally, but I used to really, just because I used it so often, I would buy, like, cheaper brands because I went through it a lot. And now it's like, you know, I, I, even, I splurged on this years ago, too. But um, I don't go through them as quickly. But I like having a good one when I do need it. And I think as far as, like, for me, I like, you know, this is my natural color. I do have a hair color type thing that I want to share in a second. Um, but I really have been just embracing it until I start seeing some grays pop up. And then I'm going to do something about that. But I'm so happy that I kind of, and y'all have seen me with, like, every hair color on here. The last, like, four years, I've just really embraced my natural color, and I love it. I mean, it's just pulled back today, whatever, but um, 
I like it. It's darker. I like it to look shiny. A lot of dry shampoos dull it. They can, people don't think about that, you know? And this one doesn't. It really takes care of, you know, you don't have to use much. There's a lot of things too. It's a lot of more expensive. Um, <laughs> Oribe. That's like the worst dry shampoo on the planet. I love the texturizing spray, but they don't even sell this for us. So if you guys want to talk about it. But you have to use so much of it, which again, not great for your actual scalp and hair to take care of the oil, right? This one you have to use a very little bit. It takes, I mean, it zaps the oil, right? But it doesn't make your hair look dry or knock the shine off of it. Do you know what I mean? And you kind of see like, it's not just like a white chalky product. I mean, up close, can you see like where the nozzle is? Like you can kind of see the tone of the product a little bit. I mean, that does not show on your hair. If you have very dark hair, it's not gonna show. It's just not such a white chalky product. Do you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't even know if I was using it. Um, but then the blonde one looks a little purple, so it's kind of brightening. I don't know. It's just cool. And I like the ingredients. It has good ingredients. There's been some kind of not so great things going on with dry shampoo lately, so check your ingredients. Kind of Google that, okay? Um, I don't give you guys, you know, whatever. You can do your own research with that. So, but this is, you all know, I am, the only shampoo and conditioner I use is the Colleen Rothschild, and I am obsessed. It's changed my hair. It is amazing. It is all you need. It's beautiful, okay? But... I started using this. I do have like a big mama one <laughs> that's in there that I got the other day. I would say definitely try this. If you've got your shampoo and conditioner down like I do that you love, um, instead of maybe thinking, oh, well, on my off days, every other day, like I'm going to use, you know, dry shampoo or when I do need to take a shot, whatever. Even the best shampoos, if you do wash your hair like every other day or every day, certainly, you, you don't really need to be like lathering it every day, but you need to be cleaning your scalp. Um, you don't need all that soapy lather, even if it's the best shampoo ever. This is something, kind of think like, you know, like a face mask does. You can have the best skincare routine and the best products. But you can always throw in a face mask for fun, or you can always, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't replace anything. That's what this is, but it's truly something that has helped my scalp, really helped my hair. It's the DPQ ACV Apple Cider Vinegar Rinse, and I use the one that says light. I believe they say the light one is good for like more finer hair, shorter hair. I think I can use both, but I just always bought the light and I like it. It says locks in color, helps seal the cuticle and adds shine. A shampoo substitute that gently cleanses without stripping natural oils. So every other shampoo, right? I wash my hair every other day, but every other shampoo, so every other, every other day, I use this. What the hell was that? Um... I have a neighbor that has like a full-size Michael Myers on their porch, and it's a little jarring when I, when I, when I peep out there. Okay, um, so ready for Halloween to end. <laughs> we have a whole breakdown of that on the podcast too. And Halloween ends. And the whole epiphany that I've had about that, se that whole series. Challenge it. I mean, it's true, okay? Listen, I figured it out. Um, okay, so... What was I saying? Okay, so you wet your hair, do whatever you normally do. And then you, don't pour it all out on me, but you you open the nozzle and they just go like this. And it's, it smells like vinegar, it smells like apple cider vinegar, but you just work it into your scalp. So it's it's cleaning your scalp, it's keeping your, you know, those hair follicles nice and clean. And, but it gives you such an incredible shine, okay? So it takes care of the oil and everything. You do need to suds up your hair and like wash it, okay? I'm not saying use this instead of shampoo all the time. But throw this in maybe every few shampoos, maybe a couple times a month. I don't know. Instead of, just whatever. But this I love, okay? Swear by that. Love it. it makes my hair so shiny. Now, when I was growing out my hair, it was pretty blonde. And you guys know me. I used to have, like, super platinum blonde hair. And then I had, I've, I've had every type of blonde, okay, from, oh, just great, okay. The last time I was blonde, I don't know, four or five, four years, whatever. The last time I had my hair colored. Um, you know, as it was growing out, obviously you got the line and I went and had like a root shadow, you know, cause it's like, I'm, I'm growing it out. It was like to here probably. And you know, they paint the like low lights in to kind of, but then that's semi-permanent that ends up washing out. You still are left with the bleach. And I, you know, then I had a, like a shorter cut and I thought, I just want to grow it out, you know, and I, I don't want to be coloring over it all the time. This product saved me and you guys have been watching me, you know about this. I've told you about this. It is the DP Hue Gloss. This is what first uh, got me hooked on this brand um, years ago. And I have the medium brown now. 
uh, have not used it in a long time, but the medium brown was, and the light brown is what truly helped me grow out that blonde, okay? So I would, maybe like once every few weeks, I would take the medium brown, or once a month, I don't know, I would take the medium brown or the light brown. I forgot. Is this the medium? Yeah, this is medium brown. This is very dark. I think it was the light brown. Okay, whatever. The light brown, okay, is what I would use the most. And I would put it all over that blonde and I would let it sit, okay? Now, this is a semi-permanent hair color. It's a gloss. So it kind of acts as a conditioner. You can use it as much as you want. It's not damaging. Um, but you know it'll wash out after a couple weeks, but I'm not kidding you. Like it, it kind of blended that. Do you know what I mean? So that it wasn't such like a harsh line. And, and I just didn't care either. I was like, it's not going to look perfect, but whatever. But that's truly the way that I got my hair grown out. And um, now that my hair is all the same color and I love it. it's been like that for years people ask me I get more compliments on my hair care or my hair color now than I have my entire life and people asking me about it and stuff and I'm like it's my natural color I wish I had something I could tell you but um but these really do help now now if you know I just wanted to like maintain or just not maintain because I mean it's my natural color but to just amp it up to make it shiny to make it look like give it some oomph or even if I wanted to add like a little red to it I have an auburn one that is kind of fun I have not used that in years because I do have a little bit of red in my hair naturally the medium brown you know put it on in the shower let it sit for a little bit and then when you rinse it out it's just it's so pretty and they also have like a clear gloss just for shine um which is is nice you know so but check those out they're really fun and they have like ones like, you know, if you are very blonde, they have like toning ones. And I think that's kind of what they all are. But um, I don't really hear people talking about it much for like growing their hair out, which is what I truly used it for in the beginning. Um, so I love that. Um, and then just a few more products. A body product. I always rave about this body oil, the Herbivore Jasmine. It is yummy. It smells delicious. It makes your skin look amazing. So maybe a good time to buy that. And as far as skin, as I said, you know, using products that really nurture it and everything. But then also, you know, talk about like um, tools, and which I do have a beauty tool I might mention here in a second. Treatments, all of these things. If you're taking good care of your skin, you shouldn't have to be doing that all the time. I've found that my skin has just changed over the years as far as what I'm using on it. Again, a great physical exfoliant at night. Mix up some like, you know, put some AHAs, some BHAs in there, some good serums. You know, things that do not clog your pores. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's, I think it's, if, with the right products, you can get your skin in a good place where you don't have a lot of clogged pores, where you, you know, if I don't use certain things, you know, my nose does, I get blackheads, and but I don't have any on my nose because I'm of what I use, okay? It's not like, oh, my skin's so great. It is not. It's because of what I use, and that's why I'm sharing the love with you guys. Um, and any of my skincare videos over the years, I am not the person that like, oh, what are you using on your skin now? I rarely change it up. So if you're curious, just search. And, and, and people ask me a lot of times about, well, I want a video about this or whatever. You know, in my videos, there's a search feature. I have thousands of videos over the last 15 years. Maybe don't go back too deep, okay? But you know what I mean, the ones over the last, I would say good maybe two, three years that are skincare is still pretty much what I do. And I think I've had some that are fairly recent, but just search skincare, routine, whatever, okay, and they'll all pop up. But this is one of those things, you know, a good cleanser, good moisturizer that's not going to clog your pores, but that's going to be really nourishing, a physical exfoliator. Um, but mix, up, mix in some AHAs and BHAs, like I said, this is amazing. I use it at least once a week religiously. It is the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. It's 25% AHA, 2% BHA. And it's just this like, you use it, maybe leave it on 10 minutes or so. You put it on after you've cleansed and you can almost feel it just like working. It, the description says, and I always say this because it's just so satisfying, it's truly what it does. It clears the lining of your pores, okay? So if you use this pretty regularly, you're not gonna have those like, clogged pores and all those issues but you have to be consistent with it guys that's it i hope that you enjoyed it of course you know it's not everything certainly you know stock up on your favorite perfumes at a discount tools like whatever you need it's such a great time to shop of course gifts and stuff i always end up placing a few extra orders because i think of like oh well, this person likes this perfume or you know there's cute 
Christmas gifts happening right now or gift sets. So there's so many things that's just so great about this November sales event. I just love it so much. So I hope that you guys have fun shopping. I'll link to everything that I'm wearing. As I, as I mentioned, I'll link to everything that I, that I talked about in the video. And I really, really appreciate you guys watching. I hope that you're all doing well. Thank you so much for everything, for being here with me today, for all your support. And um, happy shopping at Sephora, you guys. We'll talk later. Love you. Bye.